Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will review the Artus 12 Pro, a 12-inch graphics tablet from XP Pen. It is similar to a Wacom Cintiq that I use at work, but it's a fraction of the cost. So let's see how it stacks up. It has a separate stand, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer that the stand was built into the device, but at this price point, I can't really complain. The pen comes in this unique holder with nibs on one side and the pen on the other side. The cap from the pen also acts as a desk stand. There are two buttons, which is a necessity and will let you replicate a three button mouse for application navigation. They include an artist glove, truthfully I always wanted one and almost bought one a little while ago. It's a nice addition, I'll definitely use it in the future. There's a mini display port to HDMI cable. Some laptops only have a mini display port as a video out port. I'll have to test this with my Microsoft Surface Pro. The main cable is a USB-C on one end and a red USB for power and black for data, plus an HDMI cable. The tablet itself is a matte finish on the screen, which is what you want from a graphics tablet. It gives you a better pen feel. All right, so let's test out some Photoshop. So let's pick the brush. Let's uh, pick black and try this. So I'm going to check how the stroke consistency is. Let's see. As you can see, the strokes look really consistent, which is good. That's what you want from a tablet. So I'll do that. Trying to vary the the pressure. It's good. Let's see how light I can go. Pretty good. Let's open up the driver. I just want to check out some settings here. In the driver, the default settings uh, have different button layout. I like to change mine to right click for the top button and middle click for the bottom button. This lets you use um, a pen like a mouse in a 3D application. For example, if we go into Maya, I can, I can hold Alt, use the bottom button to pan the top button to zoom and when I click down with the pen I can orbit. See, so the navigation is very simple when you set your settings this way. So let's try some sculpting. I'm gonna use the wax brush. I mean, it feels really good. There's no weird pops, sometimes you get that with the tablets where the pen uh, pressure will pop to 100% once in a while. Haven't seen any of that with this pen yet. It's it's usually not the hardware, it's the software. So if you have a good driver, you should have really good results. And the driver seems pretty solid on the, with this tablet. Oh, let's try ZBrush. So in ZBrush, Let's use our Clay Builder brush, one of my favorites. And let's compare between, um, if you're using just a mouse, to a pen tablet. So with a mouse, when you do a stroke, you can see it's just 100% all the way through. If you try and kind of like feather, you kind of get this lumpy mess. But with a pen, when you have pressure sensitivity, you can do very nice little feathering So this is being recorded from the display right now. It just connected to my main computer as a second monitor. And uh, 
you just move your application to that new monitor to the tablet and then just start sculpting on it I mean this feels very natural just like the more expensive tablets from other manufacturers And in the driver, the express keys or the extra buttons on the sides uh, are customizable. So if you go to the express keys, you can see you can customize the dial, you can customize the, the buttons themselves. You have all the space. So if I'm using this with Photoshop, these look like they're set up for Photoshop, but you can also customize this for 3D applications. So to conclude, I really like the form factor. I feel that a 12 inch screen fits that travel sweet spot for a graphic tablet display. It will make a perfect companion to a laptop where I need to work while away from my workstation. I think the pen is great and the driver is really well made. I like that they give you the option to turn off the express keys with a single checkbox. I would love to see an eraser tip on the pen, especially useful when drawing or sketching, but not particularly necessary for sculpting. I would love to see a single USB cable to carry both video, data, and power. While the power brick is small, it's still an extra thing that you have to have plugged in. Overall, I think this is a successful device, and I'll definitely make use of it in the future. Check out the links in the description and the limited time coupon. I hope you found this review useful. Please leave a like, comment, and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.